Welcome to today's report, the April the 5th news events. Right, today, uh, for the news, today I'd like to talk about uh, could the European Central Bank lower rates before the Fed does, okay? And uh, if it does, what uh, can we expect from the movement? Now, Europe is seeing inflation decrease faster than expected, while in the US, it's going up more than anticipated. Because of this, people think that the ECB uh, might reduce interest rates sooner than the Fed. Now, inflation in the Eurozone fell to 2.4% over the past year until March, marking the fourth month it has dropped. This shows that prices are getting closer to ECB's goal of 2%. Right. So on the other hand, U.S. inflation has been higher than expected three times since the beginning of the year already. So so you can see the the the, the biggest difference that, you know, that's what's happening right now. Now, because inflation is behaving differently in the eurozone and the U.S. investors are now thinking the Fed will cut rates less than before, they believe ECB uh, will likely lower rates more boldly right now. Now, the, econ the US economy is doing well, uh, having grown by 2.5% last year, which keeps prices elevated at a high level. Meanwhile, if you look at the Eurozone, the economy barely grew, increasing by just 0.5% last year, which has led to calls for easier monetary policy to boost the economy. Now, this is something that... Uh, you know, uh, it's normal nowadays already to bring the rates down so that money is free, is cheap. People can borrow to boost the economy. This has been the uh, formula for a lot of the central banks in the last uh, couple of years, right? Okay. Now, um, markets are expecting the Fed to cut rates by about 70 basis points. It's still the same this year. Well, uh, which means two to three small cuts can happen. It can be one big cut and then by, followed by a smaller cut or like 25 basis point, 25 basis point, 20 basis point, that kind of thing. Or 21st, 25, 25, right? They expect the ECB to cut rates by nearly 90 basis points. Now, that's a bit more than the Fed, right? Now, this is market expectation, yeah? So, analysts think that the ECB might lower rates in June, right now and the fed might wait until july because of europe's economic growth is lower so now before that we are still looking into june but now the analysts you know as we as more data comes out they, they are like looking into whether we, we're going to change this already or not to june but anyway we still need to see there's still some time until it reaches that level the ecb might hint at upcoming rate cuts at this next meeting in frankfurt okay and if they do, it could mean rates will be lowered sooner already. So stay tuned for this ECB meeting uh, uh, next week, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so if economy's prediction hold true, expect the US dollars to appreciate more than Euro in the medium term. Yeah. So another factor which could aid the US dollar bull would be Donald Trump. Last year, what he did was he floated the idea of a 10% universal import tariff should he regain the White House. And in February this year, adding that he could slap levies of 60% or more on Chinese goods. So if he wins, yeah, it's all over. The same thing what he did, the policies, he's going to start it all over again. Now, high tariffs on imports make foreign goods uh, more expensive for domestic consumers and businesses. This can lead to a reduction in imports because domestic consumers are likely to shift the consumption towards relatively cheaper local goods. Now, what does this mean? With reduced imports, the trade balance, the difference between a country's export imports could improve, definitely. In the simplest terms, if a country is importing less and is export constant or even increasing them, it will have a smaller trade deficit or a larger trade surplus. This improvement in the trade balance is often viewed positively by currency markets, which is in this case, the US dollar. So that, that's one of the reasons, you know. So if you have uh, the, the number one, 
the the euro cutting is the European Central Bank cutting its rates first, and then you will see some strength to dollar. Now, if Donald Trump wins and he starts with all these policies, then you can see dollar slowly continue getting stronger. Now, these are all assumptions if uh, these policies hold true only, yeah. But I want you all to know, okay, one thing that's happening also, it doesn't mean uh, this, all this, and 100% is going to happen because there's one more thing that's going to happen and I'm doing the research on it right now. Now, in the longer run, the thing which could derail US dollar growth is the mismanagement of US mounting debt concerns. Okay, now this is a topic on its own that I will address it on Monday. Yeah, so just to let you know the possibilities in the short term, what can happen, but in the longer term, we have to see other factors as well. So it's a good balance between understanding and you know, knowing this news and how to react to them. And hopefully that you can get something off from this sharing today. Okay.